Hi there, today I'm going to be doing an event video for the Thunderous Heights event. Um, just to say to start with, uh, this event um, is made ridiculously easy by Frostrake, so I'm going to be doing two runs of it. Um, the first one will be with Frostrake and then it'll be without. Um, it's another ele elemental event, as I think they will all be now. Um, this one is Lightning, the first Lightning we've seen. Um, they are resistant to lightning damage, uh, storm damage, sorry, and uh, weak to earth damage. I don't actually have any earth damage um, runes or anything, so I'm not going to be doing that. But I have taken my skill rune off Incinerate, so it is fire damage instead of storm. Um, I've kept Frozen Sphere on because I like the slowdown. Um, I actually haven't shown you my equipment in a while. I didn't realise this until someone pointed it out to me. So this is my equipment. I've got 8,200 damage. Uh, well, about 8,300. Um, I'm using the incinerator set. I didn't get the, the wand, uh, but that's fine because I didn't care about the last set bonus. Uh, it's only a minor increase. Um, my appearance is still the old set. I got full set here. Uh, that's very important because of the crit damage. I still use this banner here. And then my trinkets are, um, yeah, I think this is the most recent set. I actually haven't got a good curio yet. Um, and then I got that mythic belt. Uh, the, the jewels, kind of jewels, I've got um, my high damage jewels on these. You see 162, 180, that kind of stuff. Um, I put them all on my trinkets because then they can be on any class. Uh, but yeah, that's my that's my stats. Um, and just to look at the stats page, uh, my lifesteal, I've got lifesteal jewels on. Um, uh, my crit chance 800, crit damage 900, attack speed 500, um, and then my defense is there. Oh, I seem to be low on parry, really high on dodge. I think that was the case a while ago. Um, they're generally keeping it like that. Um, I've got six of the new pieces. Anyway, I'm going to be going in. Um, this is my skill setup, as you can see. I'm actually level 180 something. I've been for ages. Uh, 180, 190, something like that. Um, I haven't really leveled up in a while. These are my main passives. I've got most of the good ones. Um, I, I lost a bit of parry. I took that off to get on... I can't remember... Oh, Fire Drake, that was it. Because I needed that. Um, but yeah, so this event... Um, it's really good fun. Um, there are some interesting things, like the, the boss. It's kind of a mini-boss, um, and he runs around the map. Um, yeah, it's an interesting event, but like I said, it, it's made it a little bit dull by the fact that um, Frostrake makes it so much easier. Um, it's just because Frostrake gets the attacks, um, so it draws in all the attacks. And in this event, some attacks are really powerful, and the rest of them are stupidly weak. So, um, yeah, if you use Frostrake to, to get rid of all the damaging attacks, it makes it so much easier. Um, yeah, so... This event is a, made a lot easier if you go slowly. I am going to go a little bit slowly through it. Um, and that's because the Storm Chaser will go around the map. Oh, we're getting terrible lag there. Um, now, didn't really get to show much there. But there's some enemies here. As you can see, I'm distracting with Frost Drake. Um, I got hit by one of the damaging attacks. Um, it's the lightning attacks which are damaging. So these guys here, they have projectiles and stuff which do basically nothing. And then occasionally they'll summon lightning from the from the sky. Um, these towers here, they'll actually. Um, oh, sorry, I don't normally attack that one. Um, I like to leave the three towers because destroying a tower will make the storm chaser go so much faster around the map. Uh, now, what's going on? Why did I draw those enemies? Did I mean to? I'm not concentrating here. The um, the storm chaser you see, he's kind of wandering around the map really slowly. Um, I really need to concentrate and take down the enemies right now. It's getting a lot of lag. Um, yeah, so none of these um, can be feared annoyingly, so Incinerate right, doesn't really do much. Ah, uh, you know, this event is stupidly easy. I'm kind of losing track. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, so what I normally like to do there is I'll get to the enemies following... Why are they walking down there? Um... I'll draw the enemies out with a frost drake about here. They'll come round, and then you can stand in here as the storm chaser goes past, uh, which usually happens for me after I've taken down the enemies. But if you're a bit slow, sometimes you can come past. And you can see the hitbox on it's really weird. It doesn't really hit you um, unless you go in the middle of it. Now, why am I getting so much lag? That tower over to the left there. 
it sees you from really far away and um, you see there it put targets on the ground that's the only damaging attack um, well sorry one of the few damaging attacks in this event uh, you can see here look my health was just getting healed by lifesteal um, yeah the way to do that is uh, well what it will do sorry it will target whatever is close um, and then keep targeting that same thing even if they go away uh, sorry go further away so um, putting a frost straight down by it will mean the frost drake gets targeted and then it will only um, only attack the frost drake even the frost drake will die and it will just keep going on that um, so you don't get hit yourself which makes them so much easier I haven't really shown it yet but I'll show it on this next one um, yes yeah, so even that uh, that attack didn't do much damage so I'll put the frost drake here when I'm out of range it will then target it with the uh, with the lightning bolts the frost drake will die but it's fine because none are going to go on to me and I can just then continue to attack the tower. If you get close to the tower, then it will do. Um, it will have lightning going on you that will do a lot of damage. Also, when you defeat each tower, one of these lightning balls comes out, and that does do a lot to you. Um, you can see there, it just chipped away a little bit. Uh, the storm chase is going to go a bit faster now. Um, uh, I'm not really playing this the way I normally do. I take my time going around and um, you can see here I'm clearing out these enemies. Uh, they don't actually even do much damage but they have a lot of health so you can't really kill them easily. Um, yeah, so this next one again, put a frost straight by it, take it down like that. No problem at all. Third one, put a frost straight down, um, take it down. Really easy here. Oh, I, re oh, I just realised, because i got another person on the party, that's why I wasn't killing the enemies so fast. I wasn't even concentrated. <laughs> it's silly, I do this out of habit now, and I don't I don't even realise, oh yeah, that's why I do it, to make it harder. Um, so the boss himself, he will use, um, he will summon those lightning orbs, which you can just run away from like this. Straight after he uses it, he'll teleport. Um, he's also got... Um, a lightning attack which comes down on the ground just like the uh, this is actually gone for some reason it bugs and shows them sometimes um, but yeah he's also got a lightning attack that will come down uh, with a few bolts sitting in the ground that's also a damaging one uh, so you want to avoid that one now I'm going to do this event again you see this that was the kind of showcase of it um, but it was it was way too easy uh, that's the problem like to begin with I, I was messing up I don't know what it was but um, it's way too easy using Frost Drake, and so I'm now going to switch Frost Drake for Healing Fountain, and I'm going to go through again. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes this time. Because um, yeah, that is how it's meant to be played. That's how I'd recommend to play it using Frost Drake. But uh, it's much better shown when you're not using it. Hold on. So the main difference about not having frost straight now is the towers will attack, um, will attack the lightning bolts on you, so you have to avoid them. Um, but that's pretty much the only difference in terms of getting damaged by enemies and stuff. The um, the enemies don't do much damage, so it's not a problem. Um, and when it comes to the boss, again, uh, when he summons the orb thing, just run away. Don't don't even bother trying to to tackle him when there's the orb there, uh, because if you get caught by it, it can do loads of damage to you. Um, and if you've cleared up the map like I did, um, I like to clear it around the whole thing before I take down the towers and such. Uh, you've got space to run in, it's not a problem at all. And it's a nice little circle so you never get trapped anywhere. Alright, so now we're going to take, tackle these enemies. Because uh, I haven't got Frost Drake, I am going to use Protection Bubble. You want to take down the melee, um, melee enemy first because he's got knockdown attacks and such, um, stuff. And then these mages don't really do much at all. Just watch out for them using their lightning down on you. But yeah, they didn't even use it. They don't. They don't seem to use it much. Um, now I'm just going to run past this tower here. Set off the two suicide ghouls. You see the lightning bolts coming down. Uh, that's what I need to avoid. I got hit by the suicide ghoul. I don't know why they're so they're so weak in this event. Um, they just decided to put ones with lots of health and not much damage. Now I'm just taking down one Storm Mage, because it doesn't really matter about taking down the uh, Warlord first. Um, 
you can teleport out of there. That's that's the spot I like to stay in. Um, it's good to learn the spots where the lightning doesn't go on. Um, all right. I've been targeted by a tower. You just got to watch the ground where you're stood constantly, because if you get caught in that lightning, it will kill you very quickly. Ah, I used it. The mage finally used their damaging attack. Um, so that's my safe spot there, and you can teleport out, which is why I really like it, because um, the there'll be the two lightning blobs kind of here and here, and this one will disappear, so you can teleport into it. Now I'm going to run up here. This is where the thief appears. Uh, which I don't think we got last run, but um, yeah, maybe it'll appear. It appears kind of when you come up here, um, that's when it sets off the timer. And it appears a few seconds later. Um, so we didn't get it this time. But maybe another time. Alright, more suicide ghouls appear here. Got the ones behind. I normally run back and then put a frost streak with down in front, but we don't have that. Right now, so can't do that. Do, 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 do. Got these melee enemies. These these do quite a bit actually together. Um, so you definitely want to use protection bubble. Uh, but yeah, I've actually been challenged by someone um, on the forum. I didn't. It wasn't an argument so much, but it was like a. Um, we had a discussion about whether like the about the difficulty of events, and basically uh, they. I was kind of claiming that this event was really easy, and we've had really easy events for quite a while. Um, and they were like, oh, go on then, do it in your farming gear. So I'm later today going to be making a video where I'm doing this event in my farming gear, uh, running around with high move speed, and basically using the pet damage, um, because uh, if you're subscribed to Lord Richard's channel, you'll see that he actually did that for his last... Um, for the last event, he did it just with pet damage. Pet damage scales with um, the difficulty of the content you're playing in as well. So um, it doesn't matter if you have really low damage, it will still do reasonable damage. Um, so yeah, he did that for that's a lot, that last event, and it's definitely, it was more viable in that event than this event. But I did a practice run um, yesterday on this event, um, just using pet damage, and I was able to get to the boss I died when the boss was in about a quarter health. So hopefully I can make a video showing how this event is possible. Just basically with Frost Drake and Blizzard. Um, and then some like stupid basic attacks that don't do much but regain your mana. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it will be fun. And hopefully it will fill people with a bit more confidence than they that they can actually do these events. Because I get how it can't be how it's not possible as a knight or um, an archer with without the stats, but a wizard definitely can do do stuff which just shouldn't actually be possible with your power level. Um, uh, and that's that's why I like wizards so much; they're really versatile. And you can see that boss was not difficult without frost strikes. But yeah, enough ranting about how easy the event is. Um, it's good fun, and I, I think it's cool they're bringing the elements in. Um, definitely some interesting things going on there. I'd love to see um, Storm Chaser in a, uh, an enclosed map. Like if it was um, if it was a little circular map and then you had the Storm Chaser running around the outside or something. So you can only, you're, you're stuck, in, stuck in a really small space and then you can only move to the outside um, when the Storm Chaser isn't there. That would be really cool. Um, I hope they do that in some kind of tournament, of, um, tournament challenge. Yeah, I got three dragon stones, and then this time I get five dragon stones. Great. Okay. Well, I'm slowly getting the dragon stones I need for the wand. But yeah, that's the event run. And in terms of the stats, I didn't actually talk about the stats. Um, the stats are the same as uh, the last one, really. Um, just increased as normal. 10% crit damage on the staff. 20 damage um, on the on the items. Uh, overall, about plus 200 damage, and um, yeah, the usual stuff. I haven't break done a breakdown um, in a long time, but if you look back at any of the old event videos, it shows a full breakdown of the difference in the stats. Um, it's only it's only slight on each one, and mainly you're looking at the uh, the set bonuses. Like here it switches from dodge to parry. Um, it's actually keeping the armor. Uh, so yeah, I'll get a slight, uh, a slight balance of 
my dodge and parry because I, I haven't looked in ages but yeah you can see there's, there's a big difference there. Anyway so that's the event run and I will be seeing you in the challenge video shortly um, if you want to check that out. I'll leave a, a link to it in the description uh, which hopefully will be me going through doing a flawless run on of this event with farming gear.